today we are creating something very interesting and pretty simple and very you can say kind of abstract looking art uh, the interesting part about this is we are going to be using mesh and a little bit of color channel where we create a simple shader where we differentiate between a simple pillars and make it look like there are some kind of caps above it uh, by using only one shader so let's see how we can do this uh, the first thing i'm going to do is simply take a cylinder and let's make it somewhere around 50 and uh, let's scale this down let's make this taller somewhere like this okay i think this is good enough all right so perfect uh, we can always go back and change if you don't like it so there's not going to be an issue so once you're done with the cylinder simply go to mesh and click on the mesh if you don't have mesh network simply go to windows setting preferences plugin manager scroll down and you'll probably see something called mash it should be yeah right around here just load it and set it to auto load all right so click on the mash and you'll see a kind of clones of your object so by default mash creates something called as a distribute node which kind of creates a couple of clones of your main object and uh, in the distribute instead of making the distribution type to linear we are going to change it to grid and this will just give us some grid going on so we don't uh, we want in the x direction not in the y and we want it in z if we make it in the y it will just create some more clones on the y which we do not want so i'm going to change the grid uh, probably around to 20 and 20 so as you can see we have a lot of clones going on uh from the top view i'm just going to change how close they are so let's change the distance to probably around three and three okay so i think this is good enough all right perfect the next thing i'm going to do is simply go to the mash network again and here you'll see a random node which will just uh, help us randomize the overall stuff now when i select the random node you'll see uh, that it has completely randomized the overall look so first thing is uh, turn you off the x-axis and z-axis so let's make it zero and zero we don't uh, want them to be you can say randomized on the x and z direction we just want them to be uh, distorted in the y direction so here you can pretty much change how much you want it to be displaced so i'm going to make it to somewhere around like 0.4 and i think this should be good enough okay uh, the next thing i'm going to do is probably create a kind of fall off uh, as you can see right now the overall object uh, the whole polygons are moving on the y direction or simply randomizing on the other hand what i want is simply a simple fall off where only the center pieces are moving on the y direction and the rest are completely linearized so let's see uh, go to the fall off object and right click on this and simply click on create and you'll see this uh, weird ring fall off and simply scale this down and not too much and as you scale this down you'll see that we are creating a fall off which is basically the only parts where the pillars are inside are only going to be affected by the position or you can say the random effector uh, the rest we're going to stay still so now you can pretty much if you want you can animate this you can simply hit s and then you can move forward and hit s again and then you can simply move this uh, so uh, i'm going to just scale this up till somewhere around here and i think this is looking good enough and if i want i can pretty much change the overall value to increase it even more i think this is looking quite good okay so the next thing i'm gonna do is create a simple plane let's scale this up i'm going to turn off the grid now and make the division to probably around zero and zero because we don't want any division uh so uh, let's uh, go into the i think i have a camera around here and i'm going to switch the resolution to probably around 1k and let's turn on the film gate okay so let's keep it like this and lock the camera now once you're done with this here we we are going to be doing all the shading and lighting so let's uh, go to the panel and uh, okay so we don't see anything and that's because we don't have any light let's see the debug shading okay so this is what we have perfect so let's turn this off and let's start off by simply taking a directional light and bring this up okay and uh, let's see I'm going to uh, rotate this to somewhere like this yeah I think this is looking good and also I'm going to in the anal I'm going to increase the sample to probably around 5 and go to anal select a sky dome light 
and I think we have a good lighting going on for the start and I think I'm going to keep it like this so the next thing we have to do is probably create a shader for our floor so let's create some sand surface and I'm going to call this floor make the specular weight to 1 and roughness to 0.5 we want it pretty flat since this is an abstract art and I'll choose some color to start off with okay let's take this and here I'm going to select a shader for our mesh and let's make this mesh perfect and uh, let's make the specular to 0.1 and roughness 0.5 so if I take one color for example like this right now as you can see we have a linear color going on right so instead of doing this what we are going to do this is close this go to the hyper sheet and let's select our mesh all right so here we have our mesh uh, as you can see we have a single color going on so instead i'm going to search a ramp which will allow us to take basically a gradient or multiple colors so i'm going to attach the color to the base color so as you can see we have a simple gradient where we have black and white color so I'm going to make the black to somewhere around uh, probably like this and the other one color B will be this. I think this is looking good enough. If you don't like any shade you can always go back and change whenever you want. So let's go back to the IPR. Okay. So as you can see we have a simple gradient going on but not as good as we thought it would look. So here's the take. Uh, the first thing you want to do is change the type from VRAM to the box. Alright, so now as you can see we see something going on, right? Uh, the next thing you have to do is change the interpolation from linear to none. As you make it none, you'll see you see a simple flat color going on. So what we have to do is simply move this backwards. And as you move it backwards, you'll see the colors are slowly starting to fill up on the top part. Alright, so as I move it along to the color A, you'll see it's kind of like filling up. So let's move it till you see those caps filling up. So I'm going to make a render region around here to see. So just hold down shift and drag to create that uh, render region. And I think I'm going to keep it somewhere around like this. Okay, so I think this is looking good enough. We don't want them to look like very large caps. We just want them to look like a small caps going around it. So I think this is looking quite good and anytime if you don't like you can simply go back and forth you can change the color you want you can change the box type uh, distribution type and uh, if you don't like the randomization you if you want to like be like changing something you can play around with the seed to get different kinds of results so I think this is the best part again uh, this whole method is completely procedural you can always go back and change anything that you don't like simply shapes or if you want to like change anything like uh, the fall of or anything you can simply change you can even go inside your fall off and invert the fall off to make a different kind of result where everything in the center is linear and the rest is moving so it totally depends on you what kind of uh, style you have and what kind of stuff you want to create so i hope you like the video i hope you'll enjoy creating some abstract stuff with this and if you do create something out of this definitely send me on instagram i love to see your work so again enjoy creating something like this and have a good night